Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Two Minds Against the Overlords cooperative campaign with Tabcat. He has done a very good job in going through the losts. Now it's up to me to fend off the retaliation in South Africa. And you might remember earlier in the playthrough we've gotten the increase in uh, monthly income. Now, you cannot lose your starting location, but if we would, to, uh, would be losing this particular mission, we would also have a reduction in monthly income. So in order to uh, offset uh, that and not let that happen, I actually want to win the mission. Plus, if we win it, we get another monthly increase, which would uh, set us up very nicely for a hefty, hefty paycheck after every single month. We're putting Shadow uh, in place. He's going to be the leader of this team as a corporal and the only corporal that's currently available. XQ6 has snuck into the team. Uh, I gave the Marine a LMG, uh, the uh, DLC LMG. Uh, so it has a stock, not that great, but better than nothing. Uh, Marines are actually quite good as they rise in ranks. They automatically get more ammunition in the weapon, so you can get at the end um, up to 10 shots uh, in a magazine, which is great. Um, we got as a zapper Jiang here, uh, who is going to help us mainly with grenades, cover removal, but has also a uh, nice little assault rifle. And we got our Ranger, um, or assault infantry rather, in the front line going to be interesting as well. Shanty plot type uh, means city, uh, temperate means there will be wood uh, and forest in the area. Well that is fine, we got a reaper. Well we're potentially going to land without concealment but the reaper will be concealed and will give us that extra extra edge that we need. All right we landed and it is a thick forest area. Uh, forest is one of uh, the new parcels. I've had the pleasure of playing through a couple of forests in uh, my initial previous campaign where I started using those extra parcels and they are actually quite good. It is clear. The one thing that I learned about forests though is be mindful just of the amount of cover that they offer, not only for you, but also for enemies. My typical takeaway was slow advancement and a lot of overwatch. What shows now we fight over oh, the warlock. Can be a tough first chosen to deal with, specifically at the very beginning. Enters Overwatch on end of the turn is nasty, regenerates very bad at the beginning, one of the worst traits for starters. Easy to hit from high ground, uh, which is a non-weakness in this map, and Reapers. Okay, that's actually a quite a tough combination of advantages and disadvantages. That's one of the Elders chosen, and it's not gonna make things easy on us. Let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible. Okay, cool. Well, Overwatch at least worked out well. Oh yeah, Overwatch this time worked out like a charm. Holy. Cool. Well, one thing that we need for the Warlock, since he's regenerating, is a lot of explosives uh, then. Okay, don't want to trigger another pack, so let's be careful here. That's the second pack. Since it was an easy mission, uh, since it was an easy mission, uh, there are actually just two packs here, plus the warlock who by himself counts as a pack. <clears throat> okay. 
Almost got it down. Yeah, that's a problem. We're being pushed away, bullied away from our position, as I would say. Good, that's 100% kill, thanks to the stock. That is 100% kill. We still have a grenade left over for the Warlock. Moves up, shotgun to the face, always a viable strategy. Yeah, and unfortunately the sniper starts to kill civilians. Sabotage is our weapons. We're going in. Minimum damage, unfortunately. Finally. Let's see if we need to use our Reaper. Yep, we do need to use our Reaper. Moves up and kills the guy. Luckily, we're staying in concealment, which is good. Appreciate that. Good, and now it's time for some recovery. Shall we reload here? Reload there, reload everywhere. I'll fight on this side of the map. That's where the warlock is. Oh, yeah. The elders have chosen me, just as they have chosen you, Commander. Okay, the interesting. Destined to serve at their side, to bring their vision to this world and beyond. Come, come. Allow yourself to be reclaimed. That's the Elder's Warlock. All reports indicate he's nearly as dangerous as they are when it comes to psionic capabilities. I am humbled by the Elder's Charm. Of course, yeah, from... What a natural position to take. Uh, one where you are in uh, zero cover from any of uh, the enemies that you are charging into. Uh, but... At least you're scouting out the one schmuck that's standing, uh, that's standing complete, supposedly completely hidden. Let's move already. He knew farewell. He was running into, uh, into a. Uh, mm, fully non-covered position, but he still did it anyways, uh, because effort. Expanded magazine and data pad, good loot, like it. I think we're just going to accept being 
hit once uh, by that stun lancer because it would mean that the warlock does not get their turn and the only person that I don't want to get hit is our Reaper so we're nicely reconcealing ourselves and then moving away Okay, we're going to do full overwatch because, again, the Chosen is going to lose his turn. All we need to do is kill this guy. Which apparently seems to be impossible. Okay, continuing to take this side of the map. What's over there? We're green to go. Scanning. Ready to engage Overwatch. Scanning. I'll keep an eye on it. Are you kidding me? He just gets out of the stasis. Ah, oh, come on. Good. Let's double whammy him. Here I come. This might sting a little. A rescue attempt. Can't fully get that uh, mine to him on top of it, but we definitely can do that. Which will explode the uh, the uh, claymore. So double hit. He's down to twenty two. Stupid Warlock, we could have really uh, nicely remote started him. Another Spectral Army. Well, thank you. I can see tell you what the grand strategy is. It is point blank to the face. There you go. Moving into point blank into your face. Moving into point blank into your face. There is a pattern. Very nice. Oh really? 
What? I'm sure we'll see them again, but that Chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today, Commander. Great job, Commander. There's even we one more enemy here. Masters with a few scars to show for their what? They are faceless ones. I want the Mimic Beacons. The game is uh, cheating us out of our well-deserved Mimic Beacons. Unbelievable. Well, at least we got 5 AP and the Warlock is dead. This just goes to show that the chosen are vulnerable cool, three promotions. Let's start over here. Tapcat correctly, in my perspective, has chosen remote start. Fabulous. Kill zone, not really good for them. Uh, next up, we're going with Shrapnel, because Shrapnel is another great ability. And I think target uh, definition is good, but it makes the game a little bit slower because you will see the enemy pods every single um, round as they go through. So unless Tapcat really wants to do it, I will not skill into it. <clears throat> but I am um, intrigued by the option of Blood Trail which will help us to finish uh, the enemies uh, that have already been damaged and that combined with silent killer which we're getting over here <coughs> means that you effectively have one more damage threshold that you can kill good let's look into our assault infantry i already mentioned at the beginning assault infantry have the melee uh, skill uh, skills uh, where you go for melee attacks into then partial move afterwards. This here is a cooler version almost uh, of Bladestorm. It's a bit different. Uh, you actually parry the first uh, attack and then counter attack. So it's kind of the mutant uh, version, super strong ability. I really like that. Um, and Relentless, uh, when you kill uh, someone with your sword, you kind of then get a non-sword uh, non uh, ability. Anyways, uh, what I'm thinking is this here for melee is not too bad. The grenades aren't that fantastic. QBC, I like the uh, QC, uh, CQB, I like the uh, mm, zone of control increasement. Um, and the enemies also get aim and mobility penalty. So when you're really going in, this here is very much protecting you. Um, I hope I'm not signaling to Tapcat that we're going to take the middle route. Uh, I would actually go zone control into breaching maneuver, which is the same as implacable. Uh, then I would go for uh, combatives because it is just a great ability. And then depending on um, on whatever you want to pick afterwards, there are many many good abilities. Unbreakable. Full immunity to panic stun and mind control, fabulous, I like that. Improved strength is uh, also good and evasion is also a fabulous skill. Combined with untouchable, this here could be a quite tanky front line. So let's work on that tankiness. Um, this would make me be much better. I think we're going with uh, zone of control as I mentioned originally. And uh, for the um, zapper, this is an interesting one. Uh, number one, uh, this here is fantastic. We definitely should pick heat grenades. That's actually really good. Smoke screen uh, will give you free smoke grenades and uh, also increases the charge. That's not bad, specifically since there is a free deployment called rapid deployment later. So that could be for free. A really strong ability as well. Covering fire is always uh, strong. Opportunist isn't bad either. And this here plus uh, covering fire together could be quite good. Uh, actually make him more of an overwatching entity. So blast padding is always uh, good. Um, this here is one of uh, the best abilities defense wise because it allows you to stay in full cover and actually take way less damage. 
Um, this isn't bad. I have not used the uh, Fuseler a lot. So the way that I've skilled them in the past is entranced, uh, entrenched typically went very well. Uh, then demolition, because there is a limited amount of cover removal. You could also go fire support. Uh, I've uh, tried that in the past as well. Salvo is better than anything, so you definitely want that. Rapid deploy uh, deployment is better than anything. You really want to use the grenades and with both of those skills, this is where they start to shine. And then you can essentially build it up however you want from there. But these two are the crucial skills that we shouldn't miss. And together with heat grenades, uh, the character could actually be quite good. This here is strong. When attacked to full co uh, cover, incoming damage is reduced by two hit points and the attack cannot critically hit. Uh, that in itself, together with armor, is just a really, really, really strong ability. The other option is blast padding. Also good, but I think we're going with uh, entrance because it's a great skill. We got 10 rescued civilians, so we're going to get a lot of money. Expanded magazine, advent data pad, uh, that is good as well. You and, you and you can see 30 supplies. We are rolling in dough, as they say, 210 income impressive. in the first month. That is actually quite impressive. So there would be more rookies. You would come to strike at me. And there is a chance for further regional income increase. I like it. But let's go with supplies first. And the game really tosses us a bone for even more regional income. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters. Cool, so what do we get? Uh, we do have the chosen potentially cracked down, right? Yep trying to lower our income carry more explosives uh, that is sucks but it's not the end of the world stun lancers to move afterwards that is really bad good uh, all resource rewards scanned from rumors are doubled uh, that is uh, quite good because we're almost done with a scan. And we can either get a new faction. Ooh, find the Templars. Oh, I'm convinced that is the best cho uh, choice that we have. Uh, find the Reapers or form soldiers. But nah, you know what? Uh, anyone who has seen my channel for a longer period of time would know that this is a must take. Putting that in here and um, I think Ben Olsen for five dodge, not a bad idea. 40 days, finding a Templar, let's go baby. Strategic resource located. 60 supplies, uh, that's good. We don't need supplies right now, so I'll actually do a trick. I don't know if, um, if Tapcat will pick up on it. He, would, he, he might uh, use uh, the supply drop, but you can let supply drops uh, sit there and future supply drops will actually kind of come on top of it, which means you're saving three days of scanning if you wait two months or six days of uh, scanning if you wait three months. Of course, you don't immediately have the supplies, but if you are affluent, then uh, you don't need them. And at the moment we are quite affluent. Uh, I would like to get modular weapons for now. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon uh, we as need more engineers, so that's our next priority. Commander, we can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. Once we've collected and we have enough intel. Tapcat was clever. He uh, he gave us the option to make contact. 90 days, so let's do the increased money and then start making contact. 
Our research was a success, Commander. Modular weapons will help us to finally, yeah, put modules into weapons. Duh. And this here will help us to uh, to get vests. Um, you know, I actually think we might want to continue excavating right here. Best excavation because it only needs one engineer. And I wonder, GTS into resistance ring, into, are we going for a lab rush? That could be good for breakthroughs. I'm a sucker for breakthroughs. So abandon the original plan. Get a bit more supplies in. Our next operation will put us right in the middle of chosen territory, Commander. There's a good chance they'll show Well, I need Tepcat to help us out on that one. Uh, there is a scientist available. And uh, we definitely have the option for a nice little lab rush. The other alternatives that he could do is uh, resistance comps immediately and just uh, get that one going. In terms of soldiers, uh, Ross will need to sit this one out, but we got a zapper, we got an assault infantry available. And he can basically put uh, the marksman and the marine in. Will be an interesting uh, team overall. And given that we do have a sergeant, I think we only need one more rank until we get. No, sergeant might already be enough for an uh, for an upgrade to give us uh, that extra uh, fifth member. So yeah, I, I think we're we're doing well, and with finding the Templars, we get a Templar, which is never a bad prospect to begin with. I, for one, like playing with Templars. They have a special slot in my heart. Uh, that is it for today. We successfully defended our home turf. We have 210 income. If we get increased income on top of it, that'll even counter the economic crackdown if we then expand we might be rocking 250 ish income a laboratory could be quite helpful because we're low on scientists not like dramatically low but we are a bit lower on scientists so having the uh, laboratory now would give us that extra oomph that uh, that we need and higher chance of breakthroughs is always welcome uh, clearing debris, uh, the next one then would be a um, uh, a power uh, con uh, cord. And then it's either infirmary or training center and then the other one afterwards. Infirmary isn't too bad. Could we theoretically build that? No, can't yet. Can't yet. Good. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed what you have uh, seen, Try to snipe away the like button and see you in two days. Bye bye.